Hey guys, it's Carl. So brand new updates to the iPhone. iOS 17 just dropped. We're here, of course, at WWDC at um, Apple Campus. So the first thing that we got, a lot of new upgrades to phone messages and FaceTime, maybe the most used communication wise for apps. So you now have this new feature called Poster where you can customize someone's contact card, very similar to customizing your home screen on iOS 16, but think of that in a more customizable way for each person on your contact list. We have a new feature called Live Voicemail where you can see a voicemail incoming in real time and choose to respond to it. So great if you're in a meeting and you're glancing at your phone and if something's really important, someone's leaving a live voicemail, you can actually choose to respond, answer the call, or if it's not as important, you can put down your phone, continue on with your meeting, or just never get back to that person maybe get back to them a bit later on. The third thing is uh, something really cool, which I liked. So you can now leave a voicemail with FaceTime. I think this is really great and sweet. For example, I'm here um, in Cupertino at home. Uh, my fiance can leave me a little FaceTime message with my dog who I miss dearly. And you can watch that and play that back as a video. I guess technically you could just record a little video and send that to someone, but uh, this is more integrated and seamless. If someone misses your FaceTime call, you can just record that live with your phone, send that off. You wouldn't have to go back to your camera app and send that individual video. So the next big update comes to AirDrop and that's something that I use typically all the time. I'm a big AirDrop fan. One of the big reasons why I'm on iOS or uh, Team Apple. So now there's a new feature called Name Drop. So essentially you're swapping your contact card. So once you bring uh, two phones close together, you can swap contact info. I think it just now becomes easier to share your info. I know that there's smart NFC tap cards. Uh, I'm holding my media card here, but essentially it's a card like OVU, which technically won't uh, work anymore because it'll now be built into your iPhone, but just a lot easier to share contact info. And this also works with your Apple Watch, which um, I'm not wearing mine, but you can just tap your Apple Watch next to your iPhone and you can swap your info with someone pretty quickly. Next off, there's a new app called Journal, and this is a lot of on-device learning. So it kind of takes information from your phone. So for example, photos, map locations, music from a particular trip or a moment, and that combines it into one memory or a journal entry. And the last feature, which I saved for last, my favorite one in iOS 17 is standby. So now when your iPhone is turned into landscape mode, when it's say sitting off to the side, this is actually perfect for when you place it beside your bed, it turns into glanceable information. Obviously the most uh, common use case would be a clock on the side. So you can see what time it is at night. It actually turns into a red mode, which makes it a bit easier on the eyes. It isn't as bright you're able to select what widgets or information you want on standby mode and really useful if you have an iPhone 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max with the always on display since that information will always be there. Those were kind of the key main features coming to iOS 17. I felt like this year was a bit more aesthetic based, but uh, if there's anything that caught your eye, what feature would you probably use? Like I said, uh, standby and the FaceTime voice messaging, I thought were the coolest of the bunch. Remember to sub to the channel if you already haven't. A lot more uh, vids around WWDC 2023 coming your way. Peace.